So I want to quickly talk to you about Lightstream versus uh, Opportune versus uh, Chief. So we are speaking here about personal loans, of course. Okay, so here's a review I want you to pay attention to. The first thing, the first letter I want to share with you is uh, Lightstream. When you think about Lightstream, first of all, I want you to think about a, a lender who is a, a who is, that's associated with uh, the bank called Trist. So Lightstream is a subsidiary of uh, it's an online arm of uh, Trist, and uh, what I what we love about Lightstream is that uh, you have uh, the possibility to actually borrow a maximum loan amount of uh, one hundred thousand dollars. That's kind of cool. I mean, think about it. A lot of lenders are are giving you a uh, thirty grand, forty grand maximum, but Lightstream is giving you a hundred thousand dollars. You have uh, the minimum loan amount here is uh, five thousand, so that's kind of cool. But uh, the minimum credit score with uh, Lightstream is kind of high, so you might you were looking at uh, six hundred to six hundred fifty, okay. And uh, the the repayment term, the repayment window that you can actually uh, envision with uh, Lightstream, you're looking at a maximum repayment window of twelve years. So it goes from two years to uh, twelve years. That's kind of cool because you're looking at you're looking at one hundred and forty four months. That's really good. And the rates with uh, Lightstream starts around seven percent and goes. Uh, the rate goes all the way to a uh, twenty five, sometimes thirty percent. But you have the possibility to actually get a uh, same day funding through a uh, Lightstream. So this is kind of cool. So when you think about Lightstream, I want you to think about uh, you having a FICO score minimum of 600 to 650 and you probably have a, a checking account. And if you have a, an existing relationship with uh, Truist, the, the parent company of Lightstream, that's 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 even better because uh, you are able to actually uh, to uh, to qualify faster. OK, so this is kind of cool. And uh, what, what I want to say here is that you can use a Lightstream, a Lightstream load for a lot of a lot of things. OK. But you're not going to be able to use uh, the loan for paying for college, investing in stocks or bonds, funding a business, or cashing out, uh, like doing a cash out refinancing. So Lightstream is pretty strict on the, on that front. But overall, you can actually use the cash for everything everything else. Okay. Lightstream does pay attention to uh, your income, though. I mean, income you basically want to have like a, a, at least thirty six thousand dollars. But um, one thing you will love with uh, Lightstream is that. Lightstream does not charge a loan origination fee. So you get all your cash. You get 100% of your cash. Unlike some of the other players that uh, you will see, like Achieve or maybe uh, Opportune. Now, how do you qualify for a Lightstream personal loan? The thing is, if you want to, if you want, you are able to uh, get, a, get a Lightstream loan real fast. Now, the problem, the problem with the Lightstream is that they do not always have a, uh, uh, a process whereby you can pre-qualify. In other words, when you actually uh, are ready to apply for a live stream loan, you better be ready because uh, they, they will charge, they will actually uh, will do a hard pull right away. They do not do a soft pull and then uh, do a hard pull later on. No, no, no. You, In other words, you, you don't have the possibility to pre-qualify. So this is something to really think about. Okay. So if you, if you're, if you're pretty confident, if you're pretty, uh, pretty sure about your uh, your FICO score and you pretty uh, you know you like the, the fact that you want to go through a hard pull right away that's what it is so basically uh Lightstream doesn't really uh give you uh, the possibility to pre-qualify and Lightstream can either pull uh, your credit score from uh, TransUnion or Equifax okay and uh so and Lightstream pays attention to your to your DTI ratio also so your debt to income ratio so this is an important criterion for Lightstream because they want to make sure you have the you have the ability to repay the loan you are applying for because think about it they're giving you a hundred thousand dollars maximum loan you, you they they want to make sure that you are able to uh to repay it okay so that's something to really think about but last room the good thing about last room is that you want to really consider this bank or not this bank this online lender if you have a relatively good credit score good to a uh, excellent credit score if you are able to actually uh like if you have, uh, if you make good money, I'm speaking here about thirty-six thousand dollars minimum gross income. So you're looking at uh, three thousand dollars minimum gross income, okay. And also you are, you want to use the cash for all kinds of purposes because uh, if you can actually qualify for one hundred thousand dollars, you can use the cash for debt consolidation, for home improvement, for for uh, for. But you can you can't use the cash for student loan. I mean, like student financing or or investment no you you cannot use uh, because they they're pretty strict on that front they will ask you they'll ask you what what is the use of loan proceeds what is the use of, of the loan application or the loan you you want
So I want to talk to you now about the second lender in today's conversation. And uh, so after last stream, let's talk about opportune. So when you think about opportune, I want you to think about a uh, relatively less generous lender because uh, live stream is giving you a uh, 5,000 to $100,000 opportune is giving you way, 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 way lower. I mean, way, 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 way lower. Keep going down, 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 down. So basically opportune is looking, is looking at $300 to $10,000. So if your loan uh, needs, if your money needs are relatively modest, you want to go for opportune, okay? And opportune will give you a loan amount, again, going from $300 to $10,000. There is no minimum credit score. So basically, opportune is open for folks with no credit, okay? No credit. And on top of that, basically, you have the possibility to co-sign. So you have co-sign and limited secured loan options. And you can also pre-qualify with soft credit check. So opportune is really great for you if you are like pretty new to the credit to the credit game okay but the apr is kind of high though i mean live stream was, was giving you a, a maximum uh, apr of uh 26 you saw that right a little earlier when i said but opportunity the maximum here you want to add 10 more points to that so 36 36 percent so the apr is kind of high you're looking at uh 20 20 to uh, 36 percent so that that's pretty uh that's pretty high and also uh with opportune opportune is not present in all 50 states live stream is but opportune is not so loans are not available in colorado connecticut iowa maine maryland massachusetts new york west virginia or washington dc okay so this is uh those are the uh the areas where the geographies where uh live stream is not present okay but the cool thing is overall you will love the fact that with live stream you can qualify real fast okay but just uh, keep in mind that live stream might charge you an origination fee. So this is this could be a, a maximum uh, fee of 10%. So for instance, if you if you if you get approved for $1,000 loan, you actually are getting uh, 900 if the loan origination fee is 10%. So when you think about getting a loan at Opportune, I first want you to make sure that you you check your credit. I mean, uh, Opportune has a no uh, no floor when it comes to credit limit. But hey, listen, you still want to have a clear idea of uh, what your uh, credit score is because uh, what your credit score, if your credit score is uh, relatively high, you can qualify with another lender. You don't want to go to Opportune because Opportune is really uh, great for those folks who are new who are new to a uh, credit because they, they have no floor when it comes to credit credit score. Okay, so you want to actually uh, check your credit. And uh, you want to see how much you can qualify for. And you uh, you also can pre-qualify through uh, Opportune. One thing I want to say here is that uh, you are you have the possibility to uh, pre-qualify on the on the site or over the phone. If for any reason they're not taking uh, a pre-qualification process over the phone, I mean, uh, let's say uh, online, you just do it over the phone, okay? That way you really can increase your chances of, uh, of qualifying. Opportune is kind of similar to... Uh, to one main financial because uh, basically uh, here is another lender that actually doesn't check uh, your doesn't have a minimum credit score requirement so this is kind of cool okay and same thing for uh, universal credit even though universal credit is a much more much 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 more much more generous when it comes to lo loan amounts than opportunity because uh, universal credit actually will uh, give you a maximum loan amount of a uh, fifty thousand dollars so you have you have the possibility there but Long story short, if you are, if you have, let's say you have bad credit, you have uh, less than stellar credit and you want, you have uh, a loan, you have loan needs that are pretty modest. You want to really uh, maybe apply for 5,000. You want to apply for 10,000 maximum. Then you want to go for opportunity. Okay. And also one thing I want to say also is that uh, you have the possibility to always uh, say, listen, I, I think uh, I, I need more so I'm not going to uh, I'm not I'm not going to apply for an opportune loan but I'm going to apply for 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 a loan at, at a rival like live stream I mean if you have better credit you're not going to qualify with a loan like a live stream maybe you want to try uh, opportune or universal credit or achieve I'll speak about achieve a little more
So talking about achieve. So when you think about achieve, the maximum loan amount with achieve is one hundred thousand dollars. Even though actually, uh, so the minimum loan amount goes from one thousand and the maximum one hundred thousand dollars. Even though uh, in in practice, achieve actually uh, caps. I mean they don't say it, but basically they cap their uh, their maximum loan amount at uh, fifty grand. Even though there is the uh, the potential for you to qualify for. One hundred thousand dollars if you have the right financials. Okay, a minimum credit score with uh, Achieve actually is six hundred to six hundred twenty, and uh, so the loan amount here goes goes from one thousand to one hundred thousand dollars. Loan terms here you're looking at two years to uh, to five years, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so when you think about Achieve, basically uh, I want you to really uh, think about the fact that you have qu quick credit approval, competitive uh, APRs. You have a lender that, that allows co-borrowers. It offers a multiple discount. Okay, you have, for instance, co-borrower discount, a retirement asset discount, and a direct pay discount to customers. So if you qualify for one of those uh, conditions, you may receive a reduced uh, interest rate. Okay, this is something to really think about. But overall, when you think about Achieve, think about scalability. And uh, by the way, Achieve used to be called a Freedom Plus. So if you are if you're familiar with Freedom Plus back in the days, then you you, you will love uh, Achieve. But Achieve is is a fantastic lender, okay? B because uh, you know the the possibility of offering uh, interest rate discounts is really cool. The fact that it allows co borrowers it's it's even better because hey, listen, if you have bad credit, you want to increase your chances of qualifying for a loan. And also, uh, the low minimum low minimum APR with Achieve is eight. Um, 8.99%. Okay. So this is kind of cool. This is really good. And one thing I want to say here is that with, with Achieve, you are able to get your cash uh, real fast because they do actually offer same day credit, credit approval. Okay. Now, the thing is that while Achieve does offer same day credit approval, it can take anywhere from one to three business days to receive your money. So the funds may be released uh, a, a lot later. I mean, a lot slower. Okay. So and you, you also may have to have to pay an origination fee. So this is something to really think about. So let me talk to you about the Achieve requirements for, for loan approval here. So when you think about Achieve, I want you to think about the minimum credit score that goes from 600 to 620. Okay, in terms of uh, proving that you can repay the loan because Achieve will ask you for some uh, some paperwork, okay. So proof of income, so bank statements, your W twos, for instance, okay. And uh, W twos also are great for uh, proof of employment status. So in other words, that you still have a job, that you have a job in the first place, and you still are holding the job. Also, uh, Achieve will ask you a proof of identity, so a driver's license or passport, and social security number. So this is kind of uh, in, in t this is something to really think about, but. Long, long story short, you always want to see with Achieve whether you can pre-qualify because uh, you want to increase your chances of actually qualifying. So the best way to actually uh, increase your chances of, pre -qual of uh, qualifying is to see if you can pre-qualify, okay? And uh, one thing for sure, one, once you actually go through the process, remember that you are, you are in charge. Achieve will only contact you uh, when they need extra information, but you can, all, you can always... Uh, propose more paperwork i mean more more documentation if you feel that this can really help your case help you uh be approved right it's all about you showing like proof of income proof of employment and by the way in terms of dti and cur achieve wants you to have a maximum dti ratio of 50 percent and a maximum a cur ratio of 45 uh, percent so basically uh dti debt to income ratio and cur credit utilization ratio so uh, DTI and CUR go in a uh, reverse correlation when it comes to approval. In other words, uh, approval and FICO score. So in other words, the higher your FICO score, the lower your DTI ratio and vice versa. So something to really keep in mind when you when you think about uh, applying for an achieved loan. But yeah, maximum loan amount, $100,000. And uh, you have a lender that actually is present in all 50 states. So like unlike uh, Opportune, Achieve is actually present in all 50 states, so that's kind of cool.
So when you think about achieve versus uh, opportune versus uh, live stream, which one should you go for? Let me give you the lender choice here. So it's important to understand that before you actually uh, choose uh, a lender, I mean, uh, one of those three lenders or just another lender in general, you always want to really make sure that you check your credit history. Everything starts with your credit history. Even even if the lender has a low minimum credit credit score, like a uh, opportune, for instance, you still want to check your credit history to make sure that you know where you are at. Okay, in terms of your, in terms of your FICO score, and uh, so that's going that's going to help you actually uh, a lot. It's going to help you a lot in terms of making sure you are getting the right the right uh, loan for your credit score. You also want to pay attention to uh, the capacity. So your capacity to actually repay the loan because the lender is going to ask you to prove your capacity to repay the loan. Also think about collateral. If you if you want to pledge collateral, then the APR will will actually go uh, will go down. Okay, will will be uh, will be reduced. And also also think about the uh, capital. What kind of capital should you uh, should you be uh, putting as let's say aside? Okay. One thing I want to say here is that when you think about the uh, when you think about achieve, I want you to think about the uh, your geography because uh basically achieve covers all the 50 states but uh you want to see your location in terms of uh your ability to repay your employment okay your uh your your, your skill set because your skill set is going to uh impact a lot actually your uh your income potential okay and but similar to what, uh, what i told you for a live stream or opportune if you have any question about achieve it's just better to contact the company Call customer service and they'll answer all questions you have. Or you can just let us know in the comment section and uh, one of our team members will actually will get back to you, will explain things to you and how everything goes when it comes to uh, like the lender that you want to have. Long story short, when you have your, your FICO score, this is actually the beginning, the starting point to, uh, to, to actually qualifying for a loan. And you just want to make sure that you have the right mindset. You always, uh, like you are able to, uh, like you are able to uh, find exactly the lender you want that actually fits your specific needs okay and remember that some of those lenders they go by your FICO score so here's the selection I want you to really think about live stream versus opportune versus uh, achieve which one should you go for so basically if you are looking for a large loan amount and you have a bad credit score go for achieve if you're looking for a relatively uh, modest loan amount and you have bad credit, go for opportune. If you have good credit, good to excellent credit, and you're looking for uh, looking for a large loan amount, go for live stream. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.